Your father's looking for you. He looked angry. He's looked angry since the day I was born. But I'm sure there's no connection. With a bad storm coming, we could be locked in. We might not be able to hunt or fish for months. But it's way too early for a storm. We're in the middle of winter. Devastating winter isn't due for another month. Not according to Gothi. Well, what am I supposed to do? I can't control the weather. No, but you can control dragons. If they don't stop scaring the animals, we won't have any provisions to live on. Ah, any luck? Not a drop. And this is after yanking on that poor yak for three hours. But it's not like the dragons are trying to be scary. I mean, they don't even eat farm animals. They eat fish. True, but they're huge, they breathe fire, and now that we've made peace with them, they're everywhere. The animals are terrified of them. Here's where you jump in and say, I'll fix this. Okay, but how long do I have before the storm hits? About a week. No problem. More than enough time. Whoa! Correction, three days, six hours. Uh, okay, less time might be more of a problem. Whoa. Come on, big boy, you can do it. Oh, come on. You'll really like them if you get to know them. The dragons look scary, but they're just big, scaly reptiles. Just like Snot Loud. <laughs> You're the guy, right? No. <laughs> Okay, what if we looked at this from an animal's perspective? Hmm. Oh, hello, Mr. Dragon. I'm just a little sheep here, walking, doing sheep things. Ba, ba. No, he doesn't really seem so big. And... Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm siding with the sheep on this one. Look, I've learned that once you have a positive experience with something you're afraid of, it isn't so scary anymore. Okay, there you go, boys. Over here. And that's what we'll have to do with these sheep. We gotta prove to them that they have nothing to fear. Oh, well, at this rate, we'll never get any milk or eggs. Ah, just as I feared. We haven't had time to fully stock the food storehouse. If this storm is as bad as we think it is, we're never gonna survive. Not with this inventory. We're going to need everything we can get from those chickens and yaks. I'm not really comfortable putting my fate in the hands of a brainless bird and a big woolly beast that sleeps in its own dung. Well, luckily, our fate isn't in their hands. It's in my son's. Another way for the animals to overcome their fear is to show them that dragons are afraid of things too. Remember Magnus the Merciless? He was a pretty scary guy. <sighs> I was afraid of him until I learned that he was afraid of the dark. So during the day, Merciless. And during the night, Tough Nut. <clears throat> Ow! Hey, that's a real problem. I'm just saying, knowing he was afraid of something made him less scary to me. Yes. So let's show the yaks that dragons are afraid of things too. <laughs> I think it's working. 